everyone, I have a maternity clothing haul video today. I am so excited. I am four and a half months pregnant and for some reason I did not think that I would need this many maternity clothes at this point. For some reason I was thinking like six months um, is when like you really need them, but I was wrong. You definitely need maternity clothes. The one I'm wearing is from Amazon and it is a full length dress, an empire waist dress, and I also got it in black as well, which this it might have been the first thing I purchased. And I actually um, usually do not buy clothes off Amazon. Um, I've bought like a couple things before and um, basically they fall apart. I think they're from China. So it's the same style, the empire waist, and it has the little... Um, tie that goes around the empire waist to kind of cinch you in cinch you in as much as possible. Okay, so this uh, floral one is called Mother Bee's Women's Faux Wrap Maternity Dress with adjustable belt sold by Rags and Couture and Mother Bee. Um, it was actually $41.99. I thought it was cheaper. And the black one's the same thing, $41.99. My very first maternity purchase um, was on Black Friday with my mother-in-law. I think I was almost 12 weeks, like two days shy of 12 weeks. And um, we went to Baby's R Us. It was the first time like I allowed myself to go to a store. I wanted to be like 12 weeks. And um, so she got me, they're called Koala Mom Essentials. They didn't have much of Baby's R Us but, um, for maternity clothes. So I just got some basic tees, and I love this one. This is the, um, like a long sleeve gray with some ruching on the bottom. And then there's a white one and then a black v-neck. And um, I didn't, wait, like these two were way too long at first because there was no belly at first, so it was like down to the mid thigh. So I didn't really start wearing these until probably a couple weeks ago. And um, I wear these under like um, sweaters or um, like open sweaters. But this gray one I loved. Um, I wore this a lot with jeans, um, probably 13, 14 weeks and still do. My next purchases were jeans. That's what I needed. I still fit like my shirts and everything pretty well and sweaters, but um, you know, with pregnancy, you just bloat and you get um, bloated <laughs> out of nowhere. So my jeans and pants fit me, but I would get very uncomfortable, need to unbutton them. So I needed something with a little stretch. So my very first purchase were, was from Target. These are Isabel Maternity Jeggings by Ingrid and Isabel. So um, they're black, skinny jeans, and they have you know, like the knee cut out completely. <laughs> and they have these bands right here. So when you eat too much or you just bloat or you're bloated that day, they were so comfortable. And I got these um, a week after Thanksgiving and I wore them five days in a row. And my husband was like, I'm kind of sick of seeing you in those jeans. Can you please go out and buy some more jeans? So that's what I did. So I did go to Target and I got another pair and I think these jeans are like $35 a piece from Target and they're the same Isabel Maternity by Ingrid and Isabel and these became my favorite. Again, they're skinny jeans and they don't, they have distressed look but there's no hole in them. Um, it's just kind of like a distressed look and then the edging is also kind of distressed and it has that band, which I love. Again, right after Thanksgiving, they had good sales at Macy's. I think it was like Cyber Monday I got these. They have the um, band all the way across, and um, the bottom are um, hems instead of the distressed hem. So I do like these a lot as well, and they do have this cute pocket detail on the back. After the discounts, these were like $24, so that's a really good deal and they're nice and stretchy. They're kind of like jeggings. And then the other jeans I got on Cyber Monday have the belly band. So these are motherhood dark, um, and they're the straight leg jeans. So um, they look really great with like boots and things. I don't wear these as much because, I mean, I just don't need this yet, um, but usually what I do is just fold this down if I do wear it. 
They look good with um, like high heel boots and then like a sweater. So I also got this sweater from Macy's. It was only $20. It's motherhood maternity. And it's kind of like a cow neck and black and white and really long. And then one of my um, favorite things I got on Cyber Monday from Macy's is it's again a motherhood maternity. And um, it's just a really pretty winter sweater. And I've worn this a lot, and it's on the smaller side. Um, I got this in a medium, so I was able to wear this like at 12 weeks. And didn't really, it doesn't look like a maternity sweater, but it's definitely there's room to grow. Um, not sure how. I'm sure through the winter. I mean, due in June, so through five months, I should be able to wear this. But it's just really pretty. It's got some sparkle in it and pink and grays. So I've, it was only $20. It's such a good deal. And then the last thing I got from Macy's, which I haven't worn yet, the textile on it. It was only $7 for this t-shirt um, because of the sale. So it's just a pink motherhood maternity t-shirt and I haven't worn it. I also got leggings. I've tried three or four pairs of leggings now and I cannot find a pair of maternity leggings I like. So I actually returned all of the leggings, but the ones that I got from... Macy's. For Christmas, I think this is from Nordstrom's. I love this. It's almost like a sweatshirt sweater. It's from Gibson. And it's um, like three quarter length sleeve, gray, and it has this little knot. And um, I actually wore it Christmas night. I got it Christmas and wore it that night. Um, so I really love this. It's so ridiculously soft. I think this is from Macy's. I got this for Christmas as well. I haven't worn it yet. Yep, motherhood, maternity. So it's a really cute hoodie, and it has like the pocket in the front, which I love for a bump. I still wear like my hoodies, like just to lounge around, and it kind of covers up when you're feeling bloated. Um, and I love nautical stripes, so I just thought that was so cute. I love that. And then for Christmas, I think this was from my mother-in-law, this stuff. Yeah, it was. Um, a motherhood nursing cami. So it is, a, I feel like it's on the short side for a cami, but it's nice. So it does have like the clip down, so you can wear it for a while. I feel like you can never have enough tank tops when you're pregnant, because they will, um, you know, stay down when other things like sweaters might ride up, so you can wear them underneath the sweaters. My last purchase for maternity stuff was right after Christmas, Macy's had amazing sales, and this was just like a $7 tank top. Um, it says kicking it and it has ruching on the side and it's really big for me I think it's is an extra large again it's motherhood maternity and it's an extra large so it's really big for me but I thought it would be great to work out in so this was $32 and I'm a real estate agent and things are really slow right now and when I go out and meet people or show houses it's like 13 degrees in Pennsylvania so really I can wear like leggings with boots and my long winter coat and you can't tell so I haven't really had to get dressed up um, but so this is when things warm up I got this motherhood maternity v-neck shirt and it also ties up at the empire waist so I thought this would look cute I need to get maternity work pants like just a pair of black pants so I thought these would look cute with that, or in the spring wear it with like stretchy pencil skirts, which I have a couple of those, like ruched pencil skirts I think will still work, hopefully. Um, so yeah, I think this is really cute. It looks kind of see-through, so I might have to wear a tank under it, but um, I love like the sleeve on it. It's kind of like a bell sleeve almost. And then I have two more left, two dresses that are spring dresses. So this was only $20, and... Motherhood Maternity again. So it's basically a maxi dress. So you can wear it strapless or you, it comes with straps that you can take off. And it has um, the empire waist tie and plenty of room to grow. So and it's full length with like slits on the side. Oh no, one slit on the side. I just love the color and I think this is going to look so cute in the spring with like a jean jacket and wedges. Um, yeah, just like really cute spring summer dress. And that both of these dresses are tw were $20, like they had really good sales. So this is again another motherhood maternity dress. This will work great for the spring and for work. And it is kind of a lacy coral, I would say, coral pink. 
and it also has a tie to go around your empire waist and um, again like this would look great with you can dress it up with like heels and maybe even like a cute little uh, cardigan for work or um, just like wedges going out to dinner in the springtime. So this was also um, motherhood maternity. Um, they're like kind of skinny leg distressed overalls. I love overalls like I grew up in the 90s. I wore overalls all the time. So these are adorable and they have the side stretchy panel. So it'll definitely grow with you throughout your pregnancy. These overalls were $48 from Macy's. My last purchase is not maternity. Um, I think it was like 12, 13 weeks. My, I have a pair of like um, Converse tennis shoes and they were squeezing my toes so bad and I hadn't worn them in a while and I was like, great, now I have to throw these away. Like I don't remember these being uncomfortable. And then it occurred to me like, everything in your body changes when you're pregnant and so I googled it and indeed your feet can get a size bigger so I went to Target and got these boots in a half size bigger I'm usually seven and I got a seven and a half it just says DV in them um, but they're basically black booties and I think they're really cute I mean they smell like plastic but um, they've got zippers on both sides and most, you know, three of my jeans are maternity jeans, so um, these look really great with skinny jeans to go out like to dinner or if you want to get dressed up. I guess you could wear them in the snow, they're plastic. So that's what I have so far at four and a half months. I will probably need to shop for some work clothes soon and then I guess spring clothes if <laughs> spring ever comes. It's like the, I think it's a negative three today wind chill. In Pennsylvania um, so and also if anyone knows of any good maternity leggings I would love to hear some suggestions if you can leave some comments thanks so much for watching in the next video I'm going to do my 18 week pregnancy video